problem of counterfeiting and piracy in Africa is, is very, very big because most of the African countries are not into manufacturing. They are into importation. So when things are actually Im Im imported into the country, these uh, unscrupulous business people, they find a market for counterfeit products. So it, African countries become a dumping ground for fake products. So the problem is actually big, it's not small. This conference actually, to me, is an advantage because one, it has brought in a lot of right holders who are stakeholders. I've been able to meet them and I'm able to identify or look back home and see the products which are there. For example, I've met HP. There are a lot of HP you know, cartridges there. And uh, in fact, Interpol made it possible that they should even bring somebody from Austria who is working for Red Bull because we had suspect Red Bull teens there in, in Zambia. So I'm here to actually meet these stakeholders. It has been very, very advantageous to me because not only to meet stakeholders, but also the knowledge that I'm getting from other countries, the best practices is actually massive knowledge. You know, human capital is the most important thing when it comes to technical branches of law like intellectual property. Partnership with Interpol has been very, very cordial. Interpol has provided, in fact, has been a remedy or, or it has brought a lot of answers. One, it, it supports us in terms of joint operations, uh, especially on pharmaceutical products. We had operation Zambezi in 2009. We had just finished operation Giboa and uh, many more other yes, operations, especially in terms of actually training also. In terms of training, the online training college, which is free of charge to law enforcement officers, it has been re-advertised here, and I'm very, very glad to see about 16 graduates who have come here to, as, as witnesses. So when I go back home, it's up to me now to go and encourage the officers, the police officers in Zambia, to make sure that they should study this online course. So basically, especially in terms of identifying the right holders, I may be in Zambia because I've got contacts at Interpol in France where I get stuck. I contact the staff at Interpol, then they are able to link me to the, to the right holders. For example, now, a lot of counterfeit products in Zambia are Nike, Nike products and Louis Vuitton uh, products. So since I'm here, I've already contacted Interpol officers and they are saying they are going to make sure that the right holders are sent to Zambia so that they can come and formally complain. And then from there, we move ahead with our, our normal police formalities of arresting.